All right. Well, let's uh, let's get to uh, some of what's going on with uh, with with Portergate. I mean, uh, just um, I mean, there's there's going to be big implications to this, and uh, it's going to be surprising to see if John Kelly can hold on through this. Yesterday, uh, well, here let's first watch a Donald Trump respond to these questions about uh, Rob Porter. This is the uh, alleged uh, wife beater. Now, to be fair, uh, Porter apparently met with uh, reporters privately as the story was come out and claims that uh, his wife was hit by a Venetian vase. They were arguing about the vase in Venice <clears throat> and the vase hit the, his wife at the time in her face. Not abuse. Not Marks, abuse. Br- Marks and brothers. then apparently, and I don't know if this was addressed, because she said she took the picture because he had been repeatedly abusing her, physically abusing her. And he and she took the picture basically as saying like, OK, I have evidence now, evidence that you've punched me in the face. And if you do this again, I have this evidence now, maybe in his story, it's like we were in Venice. We thought it was so funny that the Venetian vase hit her in the face that we took this picture. Or like vases just kept falling on her. And she was like, I'm going to monitor this for the hotel and their vase placements. It's so so take, a of, take, a take a picture of take a picture of, of the of black this. eye I have. Right. Anyways, uh, Donald Trump. Um, there is a lot of indication that Donald Trump knew this was going on. And a lot of this has to do with, at the end of the day, with security clearances. Uh, here is Donald Trump responding to the questions after a couple of, um, I guess, press availabilities. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Give a message to domestic Thank you very much. Thank you. That's his uh, message to the yeah. domestic violence. Uh, I, I actually think thank you very the, much. That is literally the most succinct message that this administration's ever thank put out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Got to jump. Got to jump. Appreciate the call. Uh, so there it is. Uh, Donald Trump refusing to answer any questions. The problem for the White House is uh, not so much that Donald Trump refuses to answer any questions. The problem is is that the FBI director um, is not refusing to answer questions. And uh, this came up at the um, Senate Intelligence um, Committee yesterday, I guess. Uh, was this on the 13th or, or uh, yes, I believe yesterday. In the uh, in the in the in the uh, morning, um, the White House has claimed that they didn't they weren't aware of these incidents because the security clearance process was ongoing for Rob per- Porter, so they didn't know about any of this stuff. And uh, Christopher Ray, who is one of those guys who's been probably having sort of a miserable time the past six months, I imagine um, was quite enthusiastic about being able to tell the otherwise very banal truth uh, yesterday in front of the Senate. Here is Ron Wyden questioning Christopher Wray. Vice Chairman Warner highlighted in his opening statement the importance of an effective security clearance process. So I've got a question for you, Director Ray. Was the FBI aware of allegations related to Rob Porter and domestic abuse? And if so, was the White House informed this could affect his security clearance? When were they informed? And who at the White House was informed? Well, Senator, uh, there's a limit to what I can say about the content of any particular background investigation uh, for a variety of reasons that I'm sure you can appreciate. Uh, I would say that the background investigation process uh, involves a fairly elaborate set of standards, guidelines, protocols, agreements, et cetera, that have been in place for 20 plus years. 
and I'm quite confident that in this particular instance, uh, the FBI followed established protocols. So was the White House informed that this could affect his security clearance? That's a yes or no. Uh, I can't get into the content of what was uh, briefed. But what were through they the, informed? What, what, I, what I can tell Pause you. it. Okay, so just to understand, just so the, I mean, I, I don't think this is too difficult, but I just want to make it clear. Wyden's asking, were they aware of the, uh, was the White House aware of these allegations? Now, Ray can't say, uh, can't acknowledge these allegations because that would be revealing what's in the content of the security um, background check. The idea that the FBI was not aware of this is completely implausible. Um, Of course they were. So it was clearly, that information was clearly in the background security uh, clearance dossier, if you will, or folder. And um, it would clearly, maybe there's other stuff that's even worse about Rob Porter that uh, stopped them from being able to issue a security uh, clearance. But we don't know. Let's just give Rob Porter the benefit of the doubt and say that his security clearance was um, withheld because he was a repeated alleged wife beater. So Wyden wants to know, what did the White House know about the security clearance? Because the White House has said that the, the situation, the, the, the process is still ongoing. Informed. What, what I can tell you is that the FBI submitted uh, a partial report on the investigation in question uh, in March, uh, and then a completed background investigation in late July, that is soon thereafter we received requests for follow-up uh, inquiry, uh, and we did the follow-up and provided that information in November, uh, and that we administratively closed the file in January. And then earlier this month, we received some additional information, and we passed that on as well. So in other words, there has not been an ongoing procedure at all. In fact, they just administratively closed it in January, which means operationally they were done in November. And they submitted their preliminary report in March, which basically said, like, you've got a problem. And then in July, they're like, oh, you've got a definitive problem. Oh, you want a second opinion? You have a real big problem in November. I guess they don't care. Well, give them another 45 days and we'll shut the whole thing down. And that's their problem. Yeah. And that's what it is. So that seems obvious. And the uh, apparently what also happened in November is that the White House stopped issuing temporary security clearances. So basically what happened was they uh, well they covered and then stopped. No, they just said we can't afford to uh, to offer any more temporary security clearances. <laughs> so they gave him a temporary security clearance. This is the White House. But it would be the functionally equivalent of going like, okay, we all need security clearances in this office. No, nope, Michael's not eligible. Okay, we can get by. Because we just need the four of us to have security clearances and you're just a little bit out of the loop. Okay, Brendan does not satisfy. So it's just going to be the three of us. And then it gets down to like, oh, uh, Jamie's got a problem. So it's just Matt and I. That's all we really need to operate Matt Oe. Matt's not (laughs) eligible either. And then then, we're just like, you know what? uh, And then I go back and I'm like, is my temporary still good? Because I've been getting all of the information. (laughs) We're going to have to issue no more of these temporary ones. We need somebody in the office who actually has a real security clearance. That's basically what happened there. And (laughs) in a certain sense. The only thing that is that seems uh, to be making this that seems a little bit different about this than other things. Again, you know, with the media, with the, I guess, the center right never Trumpers. If it's about process, then everybody has a license to be critical. This is like where Mitt Romney when he gets into office, 
This is where he's going to have a field day. This is why, like, Jeff Flake is probably, like, running around. Yeah, right all now. process. Yes, it's all process. Uh, with that said, it's still interesting <clears throat> that you see a guy like uh, Trey Gowdy uh, going on CNN and saying stuff like this. Uh, will the Oversight Committee be launching an investigation into this? Uh, we did last night. So it's official. Uh, that, prob- that word probably means more to you than it does to me. W- w- what matters to me is that we are directing inquiries to people that we think have access to information we don't have. You can call it official. You can call it unofficial. Uh, those words don't mean anything to me. What means something to me is I'm going to direct questions to the FBI that I expect them to answer. And if they don't answer them, uh, then they're going to need to give me a really good reason, and you'll learn that reason, and you can judge whether or not it's a sufficient reason or not. But unless you're Jack Bauer, you can't make people answer questions. I, I, I've been trying for seven years to get certain people to answer questions without a whole lot of success. We're going to try, and then we could use your help if they say no. Well, for sure, you can count on us for that. But the reason that Thank I'm you. pressing it. Pause the it. That was an uh, interesting reference. You know, Jack Bauer is incidentally a fictional character who was a torturer. And um, mm. that's uh, a real window into Trey Gowdy's exactly. relationship and desires, particularly pertaining to Hillary Clinton, I think, if we're being it, honest here. Indeed. <laughs> reason that I'm pressing the reason that I'm pressing in terms of whether it's official is because as you know the ranking Democrat on your committee Elijah Cummings has been he says pressing you to look into this Rob Porter's employment and the reason that he was handling classified documents without full security clearance he says he's been pressing you for months to do this and that you've been resisting looking into this is that true no ma'am Here is what the letter he sent to you says. This is from Elijah Cummings. It appears that the Oversight Committee has constructed a wall around the White House in order to prevent any credible oversight whatsoever. Rob Porter served as White House Staff Secretary, a critical gatekeeper in terms of vetting and managing all documents reaching the president's desk. If our committee does not investigate these allegations, it is unclear who will. So there you have it. Well, uh, so either Trey Grouty is uh, seeing that there is a sense um, within Capitol Hill that this this thing's not this thing's for real, that there's other issues involved here, or he just wants to try a new hairdo on uh, on television. Both uh, seem very possible. This is a rare forehead cowlick. Yeah, but I, it's a new one, right? Now he's like swooping it back. I don't know. I'm not going to get too caught up in that. Sea bass looking bastard.